every time I think Stephen Gibo can't do, he, that I've seen the craziest thing he's going to say, I, he surprises me. And today he said something that's shocking that um, <laughs> if you spend any time in traffic in Canada, you are going to have a cringe moment. I actually think you're not going to believe me because I had to read this. I had to read this several times to, to believe it myself. So um, today, Justin Trudeau's environment minister, so Justin Trudeau's government, his environment minister, Stephen Gibo, said that the government won't fund new roads and that the existing roads in Canada are perfectly adequate. So this is... He actually said this. This is the Toronto uh, Sun is reporting this. And I'm going to get this. The CBC, CBC even reported this. So Justin Trudeau said that they will not fund roads in Canada. So for those of you who might live in the greater Toronto area, Stephen Gibo thinks that your roads are adequate, that you don't need any more roads. If you uh, live in my city of Calgary, um, they think that our roads are totally adequate, that we can just add millions of people to the country and the roads are adequate. Now, for those of you who live in rural parts of the country and have seen your roads getting pitted by heavy machinery or, you know, or there's an increased traffic due to um, agricultural industry or let's say that there's a new natural resource project. Nope, no roads for you. In fact, if you live in a part of the country where you don't have roads, um, and, you, and you need new roads, well, no roads for you. Um, we, no roads. So the whole rationale behind this actual lunacy is that um, we shouldn't have cars. We shouldn't have cars. So this is like, why would we need roads? And why, why would a cold country, why would, why would we need roads, right? Like that, that is, you guys, this is, this is how insane Justin Trudeau's government is like they this is actually their policy okay so he made this announcement they're not going to fund roads okay and then and then he doubled down on it he doubled down so the CBC the CBC okay they were like okay like this seems a little, like when when the CBC gives a Trudeau liberal minister the opportunity to be like hey you know did you mean you weren't going to fund roads and then they, he doubled down. He was like, nope, we're good. No more roads. So he meant it. They meant it. They honestly meant it. They, they think that you shouldn't be able to drive anywhere. So instead of looking at, you know, I, I, don't, even, I don't even know what to say to this. Like, how do they think food gets to the grocery store? How do they think that, farm goods or agricultural products get to market. I like, so do you, do you remember back in the summer when Christia Freeland was in Atlantic Canada and she was asked a question, she was on Prince Edward Island. She was asked a question about like, you know, the carbon tax is really impacting uh, tourism in PEI because it's a car based tourism industry. She started talking about like, Oh, well, um, I I'm, I'm in Toronto and I, and I, 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 I walk everywhere, but then like Stephen Gibo has uh, is an entitled entitled to a dr car and a driver. Christia Freeland like has a limo. She's 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 charged for limo services and she has a driver. But but you you guys so that's okay for them. But but no no roads no roads for us, plebes. No roads for you. Why would you need roads? Why would you need a car? Why would you need to go anywhere? Like, and again like this is the CBC. This is like, this is like, this is a left-leaning, putting it mildly, journalist outlet. And, and they, he doubled down. And, and guys, like, like, I know every, like, oftentimes I'm like, they can't actually mean that. Like, they're not actually going to do that. But then they do, right? We've seen that with so many policies coming out of the Trudeau liberal government, you know, Today in question period, which just happened about an hour ago, the leader of the opposition, Pierre Polyev, asked Justin Trudeau. So he gave Justin Trudeau the opportunity. He said, hey, this guy said some pretty crazy things. Like, what's up? And Trudeau, Trudeau danced around it. And, and that's the thing. Like, these, they are so out to lunch. 
Like, and I know so many of you care about the environment and you do your part, right? But like, can you imagine like the elitism and the, like, and what planet do you think that we shouldn't have or be building roads in Canada? I, but this is their agenda. Like, this is literally what they believe. They will not find it's adequate. <laughs> like, how many of you are on a road you might be preparing to drive home from work right now? Do you think your road system is adequate? Do you? It's just lunacy. And you need to share this video. We need to get this word out. We know that uh, Justin Trudeau censorship bills, Bill C-18, Bill C-11, they stop the distribution of Canadian news on major platforms. That's a fact. Sharing this video helps me get the word out. People need to understand that a vote for the Justin Trudeau Liberal NDP coalition means no roads. Again, just when I think I've seen it all, I no new roads. I can guarantee you a conservative government will build roads. I'm confident in that. Share this video, working hard for you in Ottawa. Have a great day.